television news program says that Turkey is clearly a terrorist state with a broad reach. It reports that Turkey is supplying weapons to the terrorist group Boko Haram in Nigeria. 10 TV host Nishat Al Delhi reported on a leak confirming an intercepted phone call from a few years back confirming the action. He reported in part, today's leak confirms without a doubt that Erdogan, his state, his government and his party are transferring weapons from Turkey to, this is a shock, to where you may ask to Nigeria and to whom, to the Boko Haram organization. Well, Raymond Ibrahim, a journalism fellow at the David Horowitz Freedom Center and an expert on the Middle East and Islam, joins us now with more on this. Welcome, Raymond. Hello, Heather. Are you surprised by this report? What's your take on it? No, I'm not surprised. And um, my take on it is that this, the actual tape that was made that you referenced and you quoted was made apparently um, in 2014 or 15. And um, it was reported widely in certain areas in the U.S. and in the West, not so much, and not much came out of it. And the reason, I think, is because Erdogan wasn't so, um, didn't have his fingers so much in um, is Islamist politics outside of his own nation. But now that we've seen, you know, um, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the ISIS Islamic State Caliph who was killed recently, and he was found just three miles from the Turkish border, which is in fact one of the last, or if not the last bastion of jihadi so-called freedom fighters of attacking the Syrian government, um, it, it's brought it up again, the fact that he's, everyone is saying, well, look, he's supporting ISIS. So now we're remembering, and that's that was, I think, the point of the Egyptian show, where, we're bringing back to see that there's some continuity here. It's not just right next door to Syria, uh, to Turkey, meaning Syria. He's got, he's involved with some of the absolute worst Islamic terror groups. Remember Boko Haram, which its name loosely means um, Western education is forbidden, Haram, um, is was basically doing what ISIS was do, is, is notorious for years before ISIS. So the whole, you know, head chopping, crucifying, massacres, enslaving women and children, burning people alive. Boko Haram was doing that. And one of the things that international observers have been noticing, especially increasingly, is that their armaments, their weapons, are very sophisticated. 